Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy to make pizza sandwich made out of flaxseed, flour and we are just going to use microwave to make it. Now we are going to start with 2 tablespoons of butter, we are going to place it in a heat resisting bowl and place it in a microwave for around 1 minute just so it melts down. After that we are going to crack one egg to the mixture and we are going to add half of teaspoon of baking powder. Uh, to that we are going to add 4 tablespoons of flaxseed flour. Just dump it all in. And mix it all up. Now you can add some Himalayan salt if you want it to be a bit less salty. I decided against it but just mix it all real good until you get this gooey consistency. Once you do, just tap the whole bowl so it settles down nicely, tap it all down and we are going to place it in the microwave on the highest setting for around 2 minutes. After 2 minutes the dough is ready, the flaxseed bread can be easily removed from the bowl, just dump it on the plate. And there you go, you have your flaxseed bread. Now cut it in half, don't do it like I did it, do it on a solid surface, so you get two even parts, but you get the idea. Now we are going to add tomato sauce on the bottom part, spread it around. I have to thank my mother for making this awesome homemade tomato sauce. Uh, we are going to sprinkle it with some shredded mozzarella cheese and then we are going to add some pepperoni coolant. You can add any kind of pepperoni that you want as long as it's keto friendly. Top it off with some more cheese. We are going to add some, uh, some uh, cut uh, green bell peppers for the greens, a bit more mozzarella. And just close it off with the top part of the flaxseed dough. Now we are going to microwave this for around one minute. Also on the highest setting, we just want the cheese to melt. And there you have it. That, that's all there is. And it already looks amazing, guys. Check it out. That's one hell of a great pizza sandwich. Flaxseed is an awesome ingredient you can use on keto, it's full of fiber and it's really tasty. Hope you enjoyed this, it's a super easy recipe and I will see you on the next Keto with Iggy.